All right, so you want to start off with one 15 ounce can of peaches with the juice. You want to put that right into your crock pot. And next we're going to take some of the cinnamon rolls that you can find in a can. Now I have this guy, it popped on me. I love that pop. I don't know about you guys, but it's so satisfying. So I'm just gonna start taking these little rolls. What I'm actually gonna do is with my kitchen shears, cut them up into four pieces. And you wanna do this to each little roll and just start scattering them on those peaches that you have in your crock pot. This is such a fun, delicious breakfast. You can have this for dessert even. Um, there's, there's no calories in my desserts. <laughs> I wish. But if you make this for a family or a family dinner, or even if you have people coming over to entertain, they will love you forever if you share this with them. Um, share this recipe and I promise everyone will be very impressed. I think you're a gourmet pastry chef. Or just like me, a down, down to earth, earth home cook who just loves to make yummy things. You know, I never claim to be a professional here. I'm just having fun in the kitchen, which is what I like to encourage all of my viewers to do. None of my recipes are absolutely perfect. You know, I'm constantly learning, but I always, always have fun. And I think that's very important when you're working in the kitchen. So you don't want this to become a chore. You want to actually enjoy the process of what you're doing. That way it tastes even better, I think. So that was one roll. I'm going to go ahead and cut up this one off camera just to help speed things up a little bit. Now that all of our cinnamon rolls are chopped up and those peaches are in there, I'm just going to give that a quick stir just to kind of incorporate some of those juices and get those rolls coated. Look how beautiful that looks already. It smells amazing. Oh, oh, I just got hit with those peaches. Yes. Does anyone else start singing that song whenever they cook with peaches? Peaches, peaches, peaches. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I won't subject you to it, but I love it. I love that song. Okay, now we're gonna take some heavy whipping cream and I have pre-measured just about half a cup. I'm gonna pour that on over. Get everything nice and creamy and give it one last stir just to make sure everything gets soaked in together and those flavors just blend and smooth out. Look at that. Okay, next in our cinnamon roll casserole, we are going to make a egg glaze. So I have one egg, I'm gonna crack that on in. All right, next we're gonna add some fresh ground cinnamon. And you know, these measurements don't have to be exact. Measure with your heart. I love cinnamon. So I'm gonna add a pretty generous amount right on top of that egg. Next, next I'm going to add one of those icing containers that came with the cinnamon rolls. Now I'm just going to drizzle that right on in. I'm gonna take my little rubber spatula, scrape, all that delicious beauty goodness right on in. Okay, and last little ingredient, we're gonna add some light brown sugar. Now, I never knew the difference between like light brown sugar and like dark brown sugar. Is it like the amount of molasses or something? Well, that would make sense. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. All right, now I'm just gonna take a fork and just mix that on together. You know, we never miss egg day in this house. We have eggs every day. So this is gonna get our protein fix in our yummy dessert. Right, that counts. Oh yeah, it totally counts. See, now it's kind of healthy. Yeah, this is like the healthiest cinnamon roll you'll ever have, <laughs> if there is such a thing. But you know, sometimes it's not about being healthy and like what what maybe you say you quote unquote need. Sometimes it's about want. And right now, I'm really wanting a yummy cinnamon roll mm. casserole. All right, so now with our egg mixture that we just made, we're going to drizzle that right on top. 
Try to get as much coated as you can. It doesn't have to completely cover the front. It's gonna soak or seep in during the cooking process in our crock pot, so don't worry. All right, let me get that rubber spatula again. Everyone's always telling me I need to scrape my bowls. So here I am listening to you guys, tentatively. All right, now I'm just gonna take that same rubber spatula and just kind of give a quick swirl. I'm not gonna completely mix that top coat in. Just kind of spread it on over the top because like I said, it, it will seep in during the cooking process. And there we have our cinnamon roll casserole. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and cover this, but always make sure guys that if your crock pot has latches, don't latch it during the cooking process. That's just there for transportation. Now I'm gonna put this on high and cook for two hours. All right, so this has had about two hours in the crock pot. Oh Look my at gosh. That. This smells, guys, I know I say it, but if only you could smell this through the phone, just, you gotta, you gotta make it yourself and let me know how it comes out. Ooh, look at that. It's nice and like, you can see that, the eggy part of it, those peaches. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this cover. There we go. Now, while you're doing this, you have a little confession to make to everybody. Oh, right? yes. I forgot, thank you for reminding me, babe. While we were making the um, the egg mixture, add about six tablespoons of melted butter to that. I forgot, so I drizzled butter on overwards, or afterwards, thank you for reminding me because I totally forgot, again. I just wanna make sure that if somebody tries to make it that they don't miss a uh, key ingredient. Yes, the butter just, you know, it makes it more rich and helps everything cook together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that icing that came with the cinnamon rolls. I'm not gonna use all of it because this is for the entire dish, even though I'd like to. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream. Now I have the lactose free kind, but you can use whatever kind you like. Just add a, uh, a scoop and a half. Don't tell anybody I'm cheating. Okay, all right. There you go, you have our peaches cinnamon roll casserole with a little scoop of ice cream. Let's tear into this, okay. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so excited, okay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Come on, that's not fair. That is so good. The peach juice that we poured in with the can, it got, it soaked into that cinnamon roll. So each bite, you can taste some of that peach juice with it. Even if you don't get a peach in that bite. Mm. Guys, try it. It's very, very, very good.